Hey y'all, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Today we're going to do another catch and cook, and today we're going to be cooking some triple tail. Not sure how I'm going to cook it yet, I'll have to come up with that after we get it all cleaned and everything. But uh, check this footage out, me catching some nice triple tail the other day offshore. It was epic, and I'm going to put a card up here for the video. Gotta go check that out. Alright guys, I will see you at the cleaning table. <laughs> Nice triple tail. Oh yeah, good one. Oh, come on, baby. Good triple tail. A triple tail got to be 18 inches now to keep. I mean, you're still only allowed two. So hopefully, I don't think he's 18 inches. Matter of fact, boy, they like getting out of that net. That first one I hooked was definitely 18 inches, without a doubt. This one I don't think is going to be. But it's a nice fish nonetheless. Yeah, he definitely ain't 18. That's a good fish though. Nice triple tail. Nice triple tail. Alright y'all. There's the target species right there. You gotta be really careful with these fish. They got really sharp gill blade blades, man. Really sharp ones. Come on, buddy. Yeah, he's definitely not legal. Right, just hold on, buddy. I'll get you. I'll measure you up, but I'm pretty sure you're only like 15 or 16. Oh my gosh, he's 18. He is right at 18 inches. Right at it. I mean, he is on the 18. Well, that's a legal fish, guys. That is a legal fish. All right, well, we'll keep this one then. I didn't think he was going to be 18, but hey. Here we go guys, our first keeper fish of the day. Nice triple tail, and this is my first triple tail of the season. All right guys, I got my triple tail here. I'll start off with a small one here. Let's make a decision. Right through here like this. All the way down. Come all the way up to his head right here so you get all that meat right there in that head. Get that knife along that backbone. Come all the way down. Start peeling it back. Make sure you hear that knife scrape against that backbone. So you know you're getting all that meat. I'm going to come through right here. About where this fin begins. Come all the way through pressure down and come all the way out. There we go. Now I'm just going to move it along these rib cages. Beautiful white meat on a triple tail, guys. Got you a nice fillet right there. Come through to the other side. I have already done a how to clean video before and a catch and cook. 
on triple tail last year. But we're going to go ahead and do another one. So if you want to see another detailed video of how to clean a triple tail, there will be a card right up here I'll put for y'all. You can go check that out. The one I caught last year. Their skin is a little tough, but they are a very good eating fish. It's one of my favorites. Like I think I said last year in the video, this ranks right up there with the yellow edge grouper. Two nice fillets. Let me clean these up. Skin them out real quick. bones just a little bit little pin bones right here and there you go nice triple tail fillet guys beautiful fillet put it here in my water like I told you guys about in a my what to do with your catch once you get it video I'll put a card up there for that too if you guys haven't seen that yet Another nice fillet, guys. All right, y'all. I'm going to get this other one clean, and I'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, guys. We're in the kitchen. We're going to do two uh, triple tail fillets. We're going to do each one a different way. We're going to cook them both on the grill. The first one, I'm going to use this korma sauce. It's a uh, like a yellow curry type sauce. We're going to try that out on one of the fillets. Then the other filet, we're going to try this uh, green pesto sauce. And we're going to do them both on the grill. We're going to make a little pouch out of some um, tin foil or aluminum foil. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to coat the tin foil a little bit with some olive oil. Like that. And I'm going to set my one filet. I'm going to coat it with a little bit of olive oil, just like that. And on this one, we're going to use this sauce on it, the korma sauce. Put a little bit on here. Now, I've never tried either one of these. There's something new I'm trying. We went to the store the other day. And I saw these sauces and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this a little bit different. So we'll see how it turns out. It smells really good, I will tell you that. It smells fantastic. It smells awesome. We'll put that right there. And basically we're just going to fold this up in a little pouch, about like so. And 
and we'll put it back on this pan in a minute. Get the other one. Do the same thing. A little bit of olive oil. Lay the fillet in. Like that. Coat it with some olive oil. And now we're going to put some pesto sauce on it. Grab another spoon real quick. My spoon. Get my pesto sauce, my green pesto. Boy, that smells awesome. This smells so good, guys. That should be enough right there. smells so good. It's not even funny how good it smells. Alright, we're going to cover this up. Just like we did the other one. And we're going to put them on the grill. About 300 degrees, 375, something like that. Maybe even 400. Whole pan right on the grill, just like that. All right, guys, my grill's at 350. I'm gonna go ahead and set that on there. I'm gonna cook them like this for about 20 25 minutes, and they should be good. All right, guys, they're off the grill. So I'm gonna see if they're done. That's the first one. Oh, yeah, it's done. Man, if you all could smell this. Holy cow. This one smells unreal. It's done. All right. Let me plate these up. We're going to give it a shot. Hey, guys. Well, I got my fish here. My two different ones. I'll try the green one first because it just smells unbelievable it's really good okay I really like the pesto fish this is really good wow yeah, that's gonna be hard to beat yeah clean my mouth real quick Yingling. Let's try this yellow curry one real quick. Wow, that's really good too. I honestly can't say which one I like better. They're both really good. Two totally different flavors, but really good, both of them. Wow. Awesome. So it just goes to show, man. Sometimes you just see something in the store, give it a shot. I've never tried either one of these before. I went ahead and just decided to do them both. And I got two really good ways to cook fish now. Excellent. That's really good. Triple tail, you can't really mess up anyway. I mean, it's one of the best eating fish there is, in my opinion. It's excellent. It's up there with yellow, yellow edge grouper, mango snapper. It's excellent. Well, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it, y'all. And I want to thank everybody that subscribed to this channel. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate each and every one of you all. I truly do. Well, guys, until I get to see you again soon here on the water, Thailand, y'all. And give this a shot. It's really good, y'all.